No more will you have to go to photos to add markup to your screenshots. This little preview image that floats on your screen for a brief amount of time holds the key that lets you edit and share your screenshots right away. It's faster, more intuitive, and easier than ever to doodle up your screenshots. 1. Take your screenshot. Taking a screenshot hasn't changed at all in iOS 11. It still works the exact same way as it did years and years ago. Just hold down on the sleep or wake button and the home button at the same time on your iPhone. The only difference now is that when you take that screenshot, you'll see a thumbnail in the bottom left of your screen that sticks around for about 5 seconds and disappears if you don't interact with it. If you want to get rid of it even quicker, just slide it over to the left. 1. Share your screenshot. If you just want to take a screenshot to share with somebody real quick or to transfer over to your computer, you don't have to open it up in photos to do so. Just press and hold on the thumbnail icon to bring up the share sheet. You can instantly transfer it with AirDrop to another Apple device, text it, email it, add it to notes, save it to the new files amp, and all the other stuff you'd expect in the share sheet. 3. Mark up your screenshot. If you actually want to edit the screenshot, tap on the thumbnail and the screenshot will open up in the markup window. You can quickly jot something down with the default black pen or you go more in depth with your edits. This is very similar to the markup tool in photos. Select Draw Tools. On the edit screen, you can select from a pen, highlighter, or pencil in the formatting toolbar at the bottom. After you select one, you can tap on the color dot to change the color from black to white, blue, green, yellow, or red. If you've marked up images before in photos, you'll notice that this markup screen doesn't have any options for sizes like it did in iOS 10, and that's because it's based on gestures instead. Move slow and precise with your finger and you'll get thin lines. Go wild and crazy all over the screen and you'll get thick lines. 5. Fix quick mistakes. If you make a mistake, you can use the eraser to make fine-tuned adjustments, just like you can in the markup screen in photos. 6. Move things around. If you just drew your doodle in the wrong spot, you can use the dotted lasso tool to select the doodle in the image. After that, you can tap and move the specific doodle to where you want on the screen. Previously, you would just press and hold on a drawing to move it around in the photos at, which I think was actually easier. 7. Undo and redo. You can use the back arrow in the top right to undo your last edit or to keep going back as far as you need to. Conversely, the forward arrow will redo any action or actions. You can also press and hold on the buttons to bring up more undo or redo options. This is very similar to the markup tool in photos, with the addition of the redo button. 8. Crop and zoom. To crop the image, just move the blue border around the screenshot inward to your liking, similar to most other cropping tools on your iPhone. If you crop it too much, you can always move the borders back out. Nothing is permanent. You can also zoom in on the image with a pinch out gesture, or zoom out with a pinch in gesture. 9. Add text. Adding text is pretty much exactly the same as how it was in the markup tool in photos in iOS 10. Just tap on the A icon, tap on the text box, then edit, and start typing. You can choose different colors, different fonts, make it smaller or bigger, and slash or change the text justification or make it monospaced. 10. Add your signature. If you want to create a signature that you use all of the time, or any random word or phrase that you use a lot, just tap on the end icon and select signature. If you don't have any current signatures, you'll be prompted to create one. If you do, you can simply select which one you want to add. 11. Magnify content on the screen. The handy magnifying glass tool is also in the end menu. Just select magnifier from the list, then drag the magnified circle to where you need it. Use the blue dot to change the size of the circle, then the green dot to change the magnification. 12. Add customizable shapes. Also available in the end menu list are shapes. There's squares, circles, speech doubles, and arrows, all of which can be customized to your liking. You can make the shapes bigger or smaller, make the outlines thinner or thicker, fill them in with a solid color, and squeeze or stretch them. For arrows, you can also choose different types of lines. 13. Share your screenshot. Once your screenshot is marked up how you want it, you can now share it. Just tap the share sheet icon in the bottom left to see all of your options. 14. Save or delete your screenshot. If you didn't tap on the thumbnail to edit the screenshot, 
and it either went away by itself or you swiped it away, the screenshot was automatically saved to your screenshots album in photos, so you don't have to worry about it. If you did edit it, you need to select done to either save or delete your work of art. 15. Take and edit multiple screenshots. The best thing about this new screenshot tool is that you can take multiple screenshots in a row and edit them all at the same time. The thumbnail images are not visible in subsequent screenshots, so you don't have to worry about that either. Once you've taken enough screenshots, tap on the thumbnail group to open up the markup screen and edit them all in the same sitting. Just swipe left and right to view the different screenshots.